So with this movie we're going to be looking at glassy text and if you see down here there's a link that says save the PSD so I give you the file to the start file to work on what so what you'll do is save the PSD and then you're going to save it or you could open it in in Photoshop just make sure that you save it in the right place and you'll see this picture appear and at that point you save as and you're going to, I've got it in my doc, Digital Tools, Photoshop, and we're in Text Effects 4, and you'll save it in there, and then OK. And do make sure that you've got the information sheet as well. So I'm going to right click on that, and we will just open this. And this is quite vital because as you go through the text, um, this this tutorial is actually based on um, a lot of levels, but blending s layer styles. So what you'll do is you'd need to have these, and there's several of them to go through. And I'm going to Control Plus, and you'll see that there are blending options for several of these functions so I'll show you how to apply them but you do need to follow these exactly and it just would be easier if you had uh, I'll see if I can go, go in if you had um, these in front of you on there and they are in the text alright so back to our start file and I'm going to start typing something so I do the text tool and I click I want horizontal, choose a font, play around with it. Something probably fairly thick would be the best, I would imagine. And I'm going to start typing. <coughs> and if you look over here, you see the text layer has started. So I'm going to type Rini. And obviously that is way too small. So I'm going to go up to Image, um, I'm sorry, Edit, Free Transform. And that puts the bounding box around it, then I make it nice and big. And take as much of the file as you want. <laughs> and then Enter to embed it. And then I don't want this to be that color. I want a different color, so I highlight it. Choose, I'm going to go for something bluey that goes with uh, maybe something lighter. Mm. Play around, there's no right or wrong. There we are. And that made that nice and blue. And then what I'm going to do is click on my layer and I go down to Effects and up to Blending Options. And up they come. And if you look back at the instruction sheet, you see that I'm on drop shadow and these are the parameters that you need to uh, apply. And here is a finished one and rather than you watch me apply them, uh, what would happen is I was going to blending options and you physically click on drop shadow and here they come and then these are the inner shadow and then Inner Glow and Bevel and Emboss Satin and Stroke and I'm actually going to cancel but you would say OK and that is what gives all of these so what you'll do is File Save As and you're going to be doing this three times now remember you go to your my documents or wherever you save it in digital tools Photoshop and this is text effects 2 and I'm going to call this glass type 1 and I'm going to make this a JPEG and I'm actually going to cancel because you can see I've already saved all of mine so in my text effects 2 folder I have got all of these thumbnails among which is glass type 1, glass type 2 and glass type 3. 
I'll cancel from that, and that is a pretty easy one for you to do. Hope you enjoy it.